Hello Globetrotters and welcome back to another Via Traveller's trip to the heart of Tuscany. Today we're about to explore the timeless beauty of Pienza, a teeny tiny Tuscan town etched within the picturesque Val d'Orcia. If you've been searching for that perfect slice of Italian allure, look no further. What it lacks in size, Pienza more than makes up for in beauty, character and culture. Every vista here is a living postcard, the locals are exceptionally friendly, and the Pecorino cheese, well, that's just culture bursting with character. As part of this rough travel itinerary, we're unlocking the door to a world that celebrates the essence of La Dolce Vita. From enchanting walks through the labyrinthine alleys, to a tranquil afternoon amidst the rolling Tuscan hills that have inspired poets and painters for centuries, let's whisk you away on this epic journey where tradition meets tranquility and every cobblestone is a story. But before we visit this timeless Tuscan treasure, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more beautiful scenes from around the world. Okay, where to begin? The pulsating heart of Pienza is Piazza Pio Secundo, a smallish but absolutely stunning public square known for its almost herringbone brickwork. It's flanked on all sides by beautiful old Renaissance and medieval buildings, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, making this a great place to start your trip. Designed by the visionary architect Bernardo Rossellini under Pope Pius II, this square is where history lovers can marvel at the architectural gems on display, while budget-savvy travellers can enjoy the breathtaking views without spending a dime. Inside a tip, visit during the golden hour for photos so jaw-dropping your camera will thank you. Just off the piazza is the Palazzo Piccolomini, where a small fee unlocks the secrets of Pope Pius II's summer retreat, offering insight into Renaissance life for the wealthy. For students of the Renaissance and its architecture, you might be a little taken aback at how restrained the facade of the Palazzo Piccolomini is, but this is actually one of the very first buildings designed and built in a Renaissance style, not just in Italy, but anywhere. That alone is reason enough to get on the tour. With its perfectly preserved rooms, courtyards and stunning gardens overlooking the Val d'Orcia, a guided tour is a dive into the lavish lifestyles of the Renaissance elite. The cost of admission is a worthy splurge for the detailed insights and historical context it provides, making the grandeur of the past accessible. Plus, for those looking to capture the essence of their journey, the palatial views offer the perfect backdrop for even more breathtaking photos. The Cathedral of Pienza, just known as the Duomo, is a masterpiece blending delicacy and grandeur, also on the Pienza. As far as cathedrals go, it's pretty dinky, but while small, its impressiveness lies in the intricate details and its unique design. This too is a very early Renaissance design with a gleaming facade that lights up the square. The facade is pretty typical of a lot of early Renaissance churches in Italy, but inside this cathedral, and particularly the bell tower, you might notice a particularly late medieval German flavour to the design. Not only that, but this place also holds a small collection of beautiful Sienese paintings. There are few better base camps than Pienza for getting to grips with the world-renowned Pecorino cheese. So see about visiting a local cheese farm, where you'll learn directly from passionate artisans. Witness the meticulous process of cheese making from milk to maturation, and indulge in a variety of Pecorino, each with its own unique story and flavour profile. For those who appreciate the fine balance between splurging and budgeting, this experience offers immense value. You're not only tasting, you're gaining insights into local customs and supporting small-scale producers. Remember to book in advance as these intimate tours fill up quickly. And don't forget to purchase a wedge or two as a savoury souvenir of your travels. The Corso Rossellino, named after the architect Bernardo Rossellino, is the main artery of Pienza, where every step takes you through chapters of the Renaissance. It's your gateway to finding that unique handmade gift that speaks to your journey, all while keeping an eye on budget-friendly trinkets and nibbles. Corso Rossellino is almost like a living museum lined with artisanal shops, quaint cafes and stunning Renaissance homes. Popping into a local workshop to see artisans at work or grabbing a gelato from a street-side vendor is a wonderful way of learning more about this town on the fly. Pienza's artistic heritage is nowhere more evident than in its pottery workshops. You'll find some of them on Corso Rossellino, but there are tons of workshops scattered throughout the town. Each studio is a completely unique treasure trove of handcrafted ceramics that reflect the colours and spirit of Tuscany. If you're hunting for a one-of-a-kind souvenir, you'll find piles of pieces of pottery to choose from. For a more immersive experience, many studios offer demonstrations or short pottery classes, 
allowing you to try your hand at this time-honoured art. For a relaxed stroll or something for you and Boo to do, enjoy a simply enchanting walk along Via del Amore, aka Lover's Lane. This path winds along the town's ancient walls and offers unrivaled views of the Val di Occe and Monte Amiata in the distance. It's the perfect spot for a leisurely walk where the landscape opens up in a breathtaking panorama that perfectly encapsulates the beauty of Tuscany and the essence of La Dolce Vita. Sweet, unhurried, and utterly beautiful. Best enjoyed at sunrise or sunset, Via del Amore provides a serene backdrop for reflection or a romantic stroll, embodying the timeless allure of Pienza. Speaking of sunset, just a short walk from the city centre lies the ancient church of Pieve di Consignano. This Romanesque church from the 12th century, surrounded by the Tuscan countryside, is perfect for visitors looking for a tranquil moment away from the tourist paths. With its circular apse and rustic charm, the church itself is actually pretty significant, as it was the baptismal site of Popes Pius II and III. As the sun dips below the horizon, the church takes centre stage as the Tuscan hills light up in a spectacle of colours offering a free, mesmerising show that rivals any paid attraction in Pienza. It's a must visit for photographers and romantics alike. And with the setting of the sun, so ends our journey through Pienza. We've explored the cobblestone streets, tasted the cheese, and soaked in the breathtaking landscapes that make this Tuscan town a must-visit destination. From the historical grandeur of Pope Pius's holiday home to the intimate experience of a Tuscan cooking class, Pienza offers a treasure trove of experiences that cater to every traveller's desire. But we've only scratched the surface of what Pienza and the surrounding Tuscan countryside have to offer. This part of Italy is an endless adventure where every visit uncovers new tastes, sights, and memories to cherish. Thinking about a Tuscan retreat? For more insider tips and tailored travel guides, and to unlock the best of Italy and beyond, visit us at viatravelers.com. Here you can dive into our extensive collection of travel experiences, tips, and even more beautiful photography. So join us at viatravelers.com, and let's set course for your next extraordinary adventure.